A rule change by the TSSAA Board of Control has added a layer of heat acclimation for high school football players during this preseason. Starting Monday, teams across the state will have five days to get in a mandatory three days of work in helmets and shoulder pads, or shells, before going to full pad work on July 29th. It shapes up as an extra week of work, but a much needed one in the eyes of most coaches. You know, the decision for the TSSAA to allow us to have three days of, uh, at least three days, make us have three days of uh, shoulder pad and helmets before we go forward here, I feel like is a, it's a wise decision. Uh, in six years of coaching football in Kentucky, uh, we always had to have five days of helmets only and then five days of helmet and shoulder pads, obviously to acclimate the kids to the hot uh, weather, the humidity, the dangerous situations that we all want to avoid. So ever since I've been in Tennessee, I always found it to be a little bit odd that we went you know, pretty much from just helmets straight into full gear. Um, and, you know, in talking with trainers year after year, they always find that the uh, highest incident of reports on kids uh, between injury and, of course, heat exhaustion would come in the first two weeks. So being able to allow us that extra week to just slowly acclimate the kids into the weather uh, that you get in, in this part of the country is, you know, a, a long time coming. For the players, the shell work shapes up as virtually being business as usual. Heat's not going to change. It's the same thing with shorts and t-shirts. You're just going to have to get used to it. It's not too bad. I mean, I, th I think, honestly, that it will make a difference, but in the long run, it'll all be the same heat. No worries. For the Tennessean, I'm Maurice Patton.